right, now let's get out to our lovely uh, audience right now. Kelly, you've got a question you want to ask Brian. What would you like to ask him? Um, we have a great slash living room that we keep our family in. We have six um, grandchildren from 20 months to 13, so we want it family Aww. friendly, but we have to uh, find somewhere to put all our furniture because it just exactly. doesn't work problem. right now. So it, it, yes, it's a busy house, especially at Christmas. Yeah. So <laughs> we've got to think of the times when it's not Christmas too, when it's just with Kelly and her husband. So we've got, oh, this is a problem that I see even designers make. I look at magazines and I see this furniture here and then I see chairs in the corners. Mm. I'm like, who's sitting time in the corner? Out. <laughs> time Somebody's out. in timeout. <laughs> Someone's in trouble. Like, who's sitting in the corner? I'll look at magazines and I'm like, who's sitting back there? <laughs> So it's got to be practical. You want to have right. everybody chatting. Yeah. So that's one view, and then there's a fireplace in the middle. Um, and so this is where they watch television. So I've got two furniture layouts. One is using some of the existing furniture and one changing the existing furniture. Okay. So one option is to move the furniture apart. And in this way, the TV is way back here. So what happens is they watch TV from one sofa and that's it. So what I would probably do in this one is I would probably put the television over the fireplace. I don't usually do that, but I think for this room it's a good idea. And you can cover it in art that's hinged. Yeah. So when you're not using the TV. But I separate the sofas and separate the pairs of chairs. Do one pair of chairs here and one pair of chairs here. Do two coffee tables and then ottomans that even can slide underneath for more seating. So everybody can sit there and see each other mm -hmm. and then you can lie down on the sofa here and watch TV and everybody can watch the TV there. Don't put baby in the corner. And don't, yeah, no one sits in the We've corner. We've done that layout a few times. It's really good. Yeah. Which, really, that layout. It is a yeah, great layout. It's a really good now, choice. if we want to keep the TV where it is on this wall, then I would do a big sectional for everybody. Right. So I would do this long, big sectional, quite close to the fireplace here, all the way along here. I'd probably bring it along and then do sort of a chaise section or an ottoman section. So when you come in, there's a little relief from the back of it. But you can be quite close. I mean, you can be 42 inches or 48 inches from there. And then I do either a huge coffee table or a huge ottoman that the grandchildren can roll around on. And then you can put a tray on when you're serving. Yeah. Do a console table here to act as a desk. And that's a great place to put food and things down on and then use a pair of the chairs here and maybe get another ottoman and those chairs can turn to watch TV that way. That's nice. Yeah, There's that's a lot nice. of options in that space. That. She's got a lot of uh, space for She's that. Got a great space. Now this room is 25 by 15. To give you an idea, mm. the apartment Kimberly was talking about is smaller than this room. Yeah, oh my the God. entire apartment. <laughs> wow. The yeah, I like the, the sectional idea. They can all cuddle up on that section. Yeah, yeah. 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 Sweet. Sweet. Sure. I know. Well, that's really Everybody's lovely. Everybody's getting grandkids these days. I gotta talk to my kids. Uh -oh. Are you gonna, is this a message <laughs> for the daughter I'm here? Just her baby pitch is insane. Everybody has one. Well, I want to. <laughs> she just got married. Would you give her six second? months ago? What are they doing? What are they doing? But I want to Get skip. On it. I want to skip right from children to grandchildren. Yeah. I don't want the children, but I want the grandchildren. Want the grandchildren. I just Both want the grandchildren. It's a better send, deal. It's I can a better send them deal. Home. Yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. Yeah. Brian, that's Spoil crazy. them with sugar, then off you go. <laughs> So we do have a question. We get a lot of questions from our viewers that come in from all over the place. This one happens to be from Ottawa, and it's Rosemary. Rosemary. So she says she's having some issues about uh, furniture placement in her space in her living room. Uh, she says some of the items are going out. The patio door does not get used. She wants to know if she needs to buy more furniture. I bet you your answer is going to be yes. <laughs> and a rug. She will buy a rug if you tell her to buy a rug. Okay, so let's start with the rug, because when you're looking at the photo, it's kind of obvious they are. My general rule is the bigger the carpet, the bigger the room looks. So you can see where mm -hmm. her carpet sort of ends, and it's not as small as a welcome mat, but it's not as big as it needs to be. It really needs to come up and underneath that sofa. She's got a placement that's not too bad, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. um, I don't dislike it. However, if she wants a, choi a change, what she could do is move the sofa so that its back is where the the chair back is, which I think would be lovely. And then um, she'll be sitting on the sofa to watch TV. And that's typically your most comfortable spot to watch television anyway. Yeah. And this little thing over here, I started to draw on the chair, but I ran out of time. <laughs> Tracy just keeps things rolling over here. <laughs> There's just no time. So I think her setup isn't too bad. So actually, in point of fact, in terms of spending money, if anything, I would think maybe um, it's time to change out these chairs to a couple of chairs, uh, tub chairs. Maybe they're going to be a little bit more comfortable than what this looks like which is an occasional chair right. and then a bigger spend the money on the carpet I think that would make a big difference mm -hmm. and then paint color I don't I can't quite tell what this is but it's certainly not making me go wow 
<laughs> so I would think either go to a nice dark charcoal or get some inspiration from Sharon today and maybe try Blue Echo. It. Do it. Yeah, I really do it. It makes such a big difference. And when I've convinced clients to go dark, they love it. They mm. yeah. love it. Very cozy. Mm -hmm. Very cozy. Very cozy. Yeah, yeah, it gives you that feeling. Now, what we saw in, uh, in the, the tape that was a room that you had done, Sharon, mm -hmm. was there were, there were sight line issues that you had to deal with and you had to pay attention to. Uh, when it comes to sight lines, it's something that some people maybe don't think is a big deal, but right. then once you get in your space and things are not working because you're at the top of the stairs and you can see three rooms and they are not coordinated, yeah. it becomes an issue. So you had the, the you've had this issue before, Brian. Well, we have, mm. and one of the big things which we're seeing now with these double sight height spaces yes. that the color goes all the way through. So you want to keep the color all the way through, but we've also noticed is that people are buying you know big entertainment units or things like that, and the tops aren't finished. So when oh. you're upstairs looking down, <laughs> right? you're looking at under Unfinished, unfinished furniture and, right. dust. Yeah. and sometimes and dust. people will do built-ins that yeah. will go up to eight feet yeah. and then the wall and then you look down and you see raw so you want to make yeah. sure there's a top on it it's painted the same color as the mm -hmm. wall yeah. or the unit or make it go yeah. all the way up to your ceiling there you go. Yes. 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 so that you never have to dust that bad boy yeah. Wouldn't that well be you just have to dust all those shelves so you need Cirque du Soleil right. to help you yes. clean <laughs> But you will get it done. You know, we'll get it done eventually. The best way for you, if you're at home and you're doing this yourself, is take some photos. Take some photos mm -hmm. from the ground floor and yeah. see what's at eye level. Then go upstairs, see what's at eye level, and then see what's down below. Often, if you're looking at a two-dimensional photograph, you yourself can diagnose the problem. Yeah. Yeah. Where when you're standing in the place, you just get kind of like, oh, it's I like don't pictures know. Pictures of ourselves. When you I, take pictures of yourself, like, yes. did, what, was I wearing that? Did, did I, 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 I wear that? Yeah. It's very objective. It really is. Yeah, exactly. No, what do you need? to take into account when you can see sort of more than one room. I mean, co wall color is one wall of those color. things and that I you have to think about. At the same about. time, I do tell people that sometimes you don't have to use the exact same color, but what you need to do is analyze it strategically and go, I'm standing here, I'm looking. Maybe a lighter or darker shade. If I want it to feel really different, yeah. use an accent wall that's inside wall. You don't want to change color on the outside corner, is my general mm. rule. Because at some point, you're going to walk around a corner and you're going to be faced with that, that corner, that yeah. edge, and it can be very distracting. But what we did at Princess Margaret last year is that we did some gray and then some of the rooms had colors, but mm -hmm. there was a consistency. So if the living room was gray, mm -hmm. the family room was this ready chocolate, but the furniture in it had gray. Yeah. Oh, so I there see. was a relationship. Yeah. And then the library was this Merlot red, but the carpet had red and gray in it. So there was a connection a between, even though exactly. the rooms have different colors, yeah. Yeah. there's something that connects them all together. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. For sure. Now what about when it comes to your furniture or your style? You, should you generally keep that the same? throughout. Okay, so you know what I tell clients that works really well? I say think of your decorating your house as one outfit. Is it a Sunday barbecue or is it a formal mm. black tie event? That's it. You would never yes. think of doing like flip-flops with a taffeta skirt, yeah. you know, and a cowboy hat. That looks like you <laughs> forgot your meds, right? <laughs> Some people say, oh, it's eclectic. Don't worry about it. No, you, you should worry about it. It's one outfit. And so think of your house as that one, you get that one kick at that Hat. Is yes. it classic? Is it formal? Yeah. And then carry that thread through the whole thing. It shouldn't okay. feel like ever going to say that because it, because <laughs> eclectic can be country or it can be city and sophisticated. Yeah. So it, just because eclectic doesn't mean it means everything. Right. right. It means if you're doing a sort of a country feel, you might have the odd contemporary piece yes. in, but still might be reclaimed materials. Yes. And if you're doing a formal, very elegant traditional space, you might have some very clean contemporary pieces, but maybe more precious materials, yeah, beautiful yeah. woods and things. Yeah, All good rules. One outfit. Yeah. It I helps. Like that. It makes it easier yeah. for you. We're going to remember that outfit, aren't we, Sharon? <laughs> in my brain forever. <laughs> 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 